Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Amanda Meyer. I'm the Marketing Coordinator here at Estimating Edge. Today we have Bill Luddy, who is our Training and Technical Support Specialist, who will be covering, covering map conditions. Before we get started, we have a couple housekeeping items. All lines have been muted, and we'll answer questions at the end of the webinar. To ask a question, enter them into the question window. Bill, next slide. Thank you, sir. I will also be sending out an email with the recorded link, and you can also check out our webinars on demand on our website. When you leave the, this webinar today, there will be a pop-up window with a three-question survey. We'd love to hear your feedback. Don't forget to sign up for next month's webinar, which is Drawing Screen Features in August 14th. And thank you, everyone, for joining again. So let's get started. Thank you, Amanda. And welcome to our webinar series. My name is Bill Luddy, and I'll be guiding you through our mapping conditions feature. Many times you find that an alternate is required from your client for another install, material, or manufacturer. This is why mapping was developed. What is mapping? Mapping conditions were developed to quickly create an alternate bid for either a different build, install, or different manufacturer. And how does the EDGE accomplish this? By simply taking the quantities that you've added to your conditions from your original bid takeoff and add them to the alternate bid. Let me demonstrate how they accomplish this. We will be starting at the sections level, which will be in effect a separate bid with pricing, labor, and recap. First, make sure your bid or scenario is, uh, is checked out of the cloud. Next, go to your copy and insert icon and click on this and mark all the boxes to ensure that you have an exact copy of your original bid. This, at this point, I will name it. My original bid was a TPO, and I want to map it to an EPDM. So I'll put EPDM here to designate that and hit Save. So here's my exact bid, except that the title is EPDM at this point. So now I arrow forward to my pages, and now to my conditions. These are my TPO conditions which I'm going to mark at this point with the select arrow. And if I hit the top one, it selects them all. I'll take my mouse into the body of this, right click and delete all these conditions, all 14 and hit yes. Now at this point in time, I can go to add condition, find my EPDM master, add all in this case and add to page. You notice here are all my conditions for EPDM. Now on my original bid, I had two sets of wall flashings. So at this one, I will take and copy another wall flashing here and hit copy. This will ensure that I can I have a a wall detail that I can bring over into this so that when I bring on uh, when I do it map it I can map directly to it if I did didn't do that my I would have to go into that original wall flashing and and uh, create a build for it now once this is done we go to our map conditions here you notice that we have a select from page Right now we have Royal Farms as our our page level. If we had other pages, we could hit the drop down and find them. Here is our action condition, which is the original bid. Here and here are my source conditions for that bid. And now I've got to go to my target condition. You notice that I first start here and we've got a feature that says map. So I'm mapping directly to my from my mechanical attached TPO to my fully adhered. Now down here, you notice I have a coping cap. Now this coping cap, I didn't have my original bid, but I want to bring in my coping cap to the target condition. So if I hit the drop down, I can hit copy and it will bring it over into my target condition. Now I can finish the rest of my mapping.
Once this is done, I can hit OK. If you have all your action conditions and your target conditions match up perfectly, you can use the auto map feature or hit OK. And now as you notice, all our quantities from our original bid have compiled into our alternate bid. So once this is done, we can go back to our page and we can mark this page and then we go directly to our material, which will give us all the EPDM that and material for that particular build. We price, we do our unit pricing in here, then we can go to our labor and our production. And once that's done, we can have we'll have a recap for this job. So then you'll be have a comparison between these jobs. Now, if they're, uh, so now you've got your complete alternate bid for this, and it can be done at, uh, like I said, the section level or the end or the page level. And well, that includes our mapping features demonstration. Uh, I will turn it over to you, Amanda. All right, you guys, do you guys have any questions? Please enter them into the question window. Take a minute to do so. All righty, if you guys do have any questions, you can email marketing at estimatingedge.com. That concludes our webinar today. Thank you, guys.